Happy birthday to my baby. Thank you, Vicky, for my angel. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. I'm so happy. Oh, my gosh. Like it's so hard having a child for someone who doesn't publicly be part of your life or the child's life. But that has changed. I know. And I can't <laughs> believe it. So what are you going to do now? Well, I'll call him to say thank you for the gifts he sent to Annie and also for the post. I'm also hoping that he really wants to bring up the idea of moving in with him. Victoria, what? are you sure you're ready for that? Of course. Why not? <sighs> Come on, Ava. I've been with you all through my pregnancy, and it's a year now. I've waited long enough. I just want Annie to be close to his father, and I also want to be close to my baby daddy. Oh, I'm going to miss my baby so much. I oh. know. Sometimes it just feels like I give it to him for you. <laughs> anyway, let me go call him now so I don't forget. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. You're welcome. <laughs> Tomorrow then. All right, kiss my baby for me. Okay, good night. Yeah. Let me guess. She's moving in, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's long overdue. Are we not forgetting something here? What? The fact that we are acting naive. Look, Benny. I get your point, alright? But I know what I'm doing. I don't think you get my point. Because if you did, you would oh. want to be sure of what you're getting yourself into. Listen, let's not ignore certain things that might hurt us in future. Benny, I know what I am doing. Can we talk about something yes, else? Yes, as always, change the topic. <sighs> Yes, number 14. Number 14, Thomas Street. Okay, thank you. I'm waiting, please. Hurry up. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Victoria, I saw your bags and babies on downstairs. I thought you were meant to go in the evening. No, he said I should come this morning. That's why I'm even trying to rush, because he needs to get to work. Wow, everything is happening so fast. No, not fast enough. This should have happened before I gave birth. I'm even happy it's happening at all. <laughs> um, Victoria, there's something I've been nursing since yesterday. This will take just a few minutes, okay? Okay. Listen, I know that you really want this relationship with Elijah. And having a child with him means a lot to you. But 
I want you to try to hold back a little bit. You think I care about him too much? I think you really want to be with him. Because I love him. He's the nicest guy. Look, I understand that, okay? I'm just worried for you and I don't want you to expect too much. I'm not. He's the one who invited me over and you know, you know how long it took me to inform him about Annie. And I also know how long it took him to identify with you and Annie. It took him one year and two months. You were seven months pregnant when you informed him and Annie just turned one. Because we didn't discuss me getting pregnant. I can understand him taking his time to get used to having a child. And I mean, now that he's coming to terms with it, look, he's taking his responsibility, which is what I've been praying for, you know. And I am so happy it's happening. Look, all I'm trying to say is, as you move into his house, do not assume what he's not telling you. I understand. And if he likes you enough for keeps, he should marry you. But until then, do not assume you're the lady of the house. Because this might just be because of Annie. Exactly. And Benita doesn't like me. <laughs> you know how much she's very protective of her brother. But then again, if Elijah really likes you, I mean, Benita is just a small fry. I'm going to miss you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for being the sweetest friend. Oh. <laughs> I know I'm taking Annie away from you. I'm sorry. We can visit from time to time. Of course. And please, say yes to some guy. Oh. The guy at your office or any guy. Please, please, please. I am not ready for that. Okay? Will you ever be ready? Girl, not everyone has a love story. Your case is open. <laughs> um, look, I'm going to drop the keys for you downstairs when I leave, okay? Okay, thank you. I'm still going to miss you, girl. I miss you too. Oh. All right, then. Hi, baby. I'll miss you too. So just say hi to Elijah and Benita for me, okay? Of course I will. All right, take care. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Later. You're going to miss Auntie, right? Let me call this guy. So because I want my son to come stay with me, that's why you packed your things. You know very well that's not why I'm leaving. So what exactly is your problem with this arrangement? Let me ask you. Are you 100% comfortable? Are you sure that everything will be okay with Victoria? Look, I know Victoria is a friend that you really do not like. Was. She was my friend that I do not trust and still will not trust. You have to come to terms with the fact that she's the mother of my child. And I am so happy for you. Honestly, very happy. But do not forget that you are still undergoing treatment. Oh. But look, there is no point in getting angry each time I bring this up. So are you saying that I should lose faith in the possibility of recovering? If you think for a second I do not pray every day for you to be well, then it's quite unfortunate. Listen, take these things and put them back in the wardrobe. Elijah, I cannot deal with Victoria. You can deal with her. <laughs> oh, you're such a cute boy. Are you clapping already? <laughs> wow. Can I take him to work with me? No. Oh, Why? come on. What if he starts crying? Who's going to feed him? Sorry, we'll be here waiting for you. He'll be here. I guess you're right. <laughs> come on. Yeah, so I have a. Uh, 
there's more than enough groceries in the kitchen, so just make something for yourself. Okay. Right? Yeah. Thank you. See you when I get back. All right. Bye. Goodbye. That is going to work. to pretend that I do not see or feel the awkwardness between us. But I just want you to know that I'm only here because your brother invited me. I just want us to peacefully coexist. <laughs> Since we're going to be truthful about the whole situation, I don't want to pretend that you didn't disrespect our friendship. I don't want to pretend that you did use the information you got from me to take out my brother's ex-girlfriend and become his girlfriend. You became exactly what my brother needed because of the information he got from me. That seems to be the narrative you want to stick with. Oh, fine. Tell me your narrative. What did I miss? One minute you're on a secret date with the brother I introduced you to. The next thing he ends his relationship with his girlfriend and introduces you as the new girl. Months after you disappear and reappear with pregnancy. <laughs> Do you need more details about the timeline so far? Look, Benita, Annie was made out of love. Just leave him out of your story. Your brother and I knew what we were doing. There's no manipulation here. Really? We'll see. You move in here earlier. I need hugs like this every time I return from work. Look at a bad day, just disappear like that. Well, I'm here now, and I can give it to you as often as you need it. Dinner? Sorry. No, that will be too late for me. I knew you were going to say that. Anyway, I have some fruits. You want some? Sure. That will do. Let me get it. Here you go. Okay. Hmm. Aren't you gonna have some? No, I already had some in there. Okay. Really nice. Bro, I'll continue with that later. Okay. Look, I know I haven't been committed to you since you told me that you were having Annie. I knew you were surprised. <laughs> More like shocked. That was the best news ever. Something I've been praying for. But I wasn't really sure if I was ready. Thank you. Thank you for not denying him. I mean, it's I've been a nightmare raising him all by myself. That will never happen. I want the best for my son. I want to give him the best upbringing. 
I want to be involved with his life. Physically and otherwise. Thank you. And for you. You know you have me, right? I've been silent because I wasn't really sure of my decision. I'm sorry. It's okay. You know you mean the world to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you. <laughs> wow, Anita, I'm surprised you still know your way to my house. Of course I do. Hmm. I'm sure this visit is about Victoria and Annie. Well, if you would offer me a seat, I guess you'll find out. All right, please have a seat. Thank you. Do you want anything to drink? No. I'm not here for that kind of a visit. I need us to talk. Okay. I met Victoria through you. Yes. Victoria and I became somewhat close for a while, of which I regret so much, but that's a thing of the past now. My closest with her brought her close to my brother, and it gave her the opportunity to manipulate her way into having Annie. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, sir. Manipulate her way is that part of the story that should be left out. Elijah and Victoria fell in love and had a baby called Annie. <sighs> the falling in love part is what I'm not so sure of, but I do know you only say the good in people. I know you do not mean that as a compliment. You think I don't notice the bad things about situations until it's too late. That's fine. That's your opinion you have about me and you're entitled to it. Why did it take Victoria seven months of pregnancy before telling Elijah? Benita, look, she did not even want to say anything. I was the one who insisted that she goes to Elijah and talk to him about it. Look, I know that they've had their issues all year long. But there she was, pregnant and all. So I told her, look, it doesn't matter if you guys have fights and all of that. You are having a baby, so you should go tell him about it. That was all me. And now she has moved into the house. I know how bad this must make you feel. It doesn't make me feel bad. Look, Benita. I know that you love your brother so much and you're very protective of him. But then again, you should allow him choose whomever he wishes to be with. I understand sibling jealousy, uh, but... You, you think I'm jealous? Yes. I think you feel that Victoria is going to take your brother away from you. These things happen with close siblings. If you know my brother as much as I do, then you would understand where I'm coming from. It has nothing to do with jealousy. And I'm only here to ask if you are aware of any relationship, any other relationship she may have been into. So that you can use that to kick her out of your brother's life? No one is talking about kicking her out. I don't know about any other relationship, Benita. But then again, if you do not believe that Annie is your brother's child, you should just ask him to go for a DNA test. I guess I should have done that before coming here. To think that we're actually very close just over a year ago is quite shocking. Siding with Victoria was your choice. So, are you comfortable? Um, kind of. You know, I've missed you so much. 
and I would love to stay in your room, but then I cannot leave Annie all by himself just in case he wakes up for food at night. And besides, I don't know if you'll be comfortable having the two of us in your room. Okay. So, should I build a baby cot in the room so that we can all stay together? Yeah. I was going to suggest that. Okay. So first thing tomorrow morning, I'll get to it. Okay. <laughs> you know, I have an early start tomorrow. I need to go to bed. Oh. What? Baby, you know I told you some more. <laughs> okay. Right here. Yeah. Hey, hi. hi. I'm Leo. Elijah. Welcome. Yeah, so... Would you want anything to drink? No, I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, uh, when I reached out to you, I didn't think you would respond or not. Well, I'm hardly online, but I, I opened your message and I'm here, so... You said something about knowing Victoria. Uh, uh, yes, um... I didn't know she had a baby. She does. How long ago? A year. I think you and I may have to confirm who the baby daddy is. I, I'm sorry if I'm just being too straightforward, but I like to bury the white shield. You're trying to tell me that you had an affair with Victoria. She left me about a year and nine months oh, ago. Oh, she left you. Okay. Uh, don't say it that way. This is not me being jealous, okay? This is me saying that I wasn't ready for the kind of relationship she wanted at the time. But you see, my friends told me they saw her pregnant just a few months after we stopped saying. Leo, right? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, you just said that... Um... You were not interested in the kind of relationship she wanted. So why exactly are we here? See, I didn't think this would be coming out of your mouth. But, but you see, this past year has taught me that there are more important things in life. Hmm. So Victoria and Annie are the most important things in your life. Well, Annie is his name, yeah? I say for Victoria, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not bothered about Victoria. I just want to know if the baby is remotely mine. The baby is not yours. I saw the picture you posted and she looks like my sister. The baby is not yours. Sorry. I'm not offended, Mr. Liu, but I would like you to stay away from them. Um, Elijah, see, I am not about stalking that. That's why I reached out to you out of respect. I would want you to tell them to at least run a DNA text. If the baby is yours, trust me, I will never show my face again. Other than that, trust me, I will keep calling over and over again. I noticed you did not eat the breakfast I made. I had cereal. You did not eat lunch either, and I'm making dinner. I'm pretty sure you won't touch it. Victoria, I can take care of myself. I've been doing that pretty well. I'm trying to connect with you. Why exactly? You're my child's aunt. I want you in his life. Why are you talking to me so sweetly? I remember the last conversation we had when you were pregnant. 
You were far from being sweet. Hormones. I couldn't control it. And you're talking to someone who didn't know you before the hormones? You always act like you know me too well. You don't. But I know you well enough not to want you in my space. Benita, I just want peace. And I want my space. Baby girl, how are you? Hey dear, I'm fine. What's up with you? I'm doing good. Still trying to settle in. And my baby? He's sleeping. It's fine, sleeping. <laughs> that fine boy can sleep for Africa. <laughs> I better go. Let him sleep. I need to rest. <laughs> so how are you and Benita coming along? Well, Benita wants nothing to do with me. <sighs> Don't worry, okay? She will come around. That's actually why I called. You know how much Benita loves her brother, so it might take a while for her to accept you. But I'm not taking her brother away from her now. Listen, she might not see it that way, but I advise that whatever happens, just keep it positive. Exactly what I've been doing. Do you know she will not even touch my food? Victoria, it's okay. Just do the best you can, okay? But do not chase after her. I don't have plans to do that. My goal is to make Elijah happy. Then you have nothing to worry about, okay? Anyway, um, I just called to check in and say hi. Mm. And I still mean what I said. Please, fall in love with someone. It feels like heaven to know someone loves you. <laughs> My dear, it will happen when it will happen. Let it happen fast. You're so disconnected. Ah, <sighs> girl. Okay, I will let you know when I meet him, okay? Anyway, I will stop by the house tomorrow after work to see Annie. Okay. All right, baby. Have a good night. All right, dear. Take care. Bye. Eva. Thank you. Are you okay? I'm having a very bad day. Mm. Baby. Is the hug helping? I was actually waiting for you so we can have dinner. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I had plans to come back earlier, but I was called in for something. What about Annie? Oh, he's inside. Okay. I'll just see him and then go to bed. I'd like to talk to you about something, but um, I'll be ready for that conversation in two days. Yeah. Why wait for two days? We can talk about it now, since it's bothering you. It's not bothering me. It's actually work that's bothering me. Yeah. Um, my thighs hurt a bit. 
what happened? Wait. Oh yeah, nothing, nothing serious. I, I'll just use a, a nice pack on it and I'll be fine. Are you scared we're taking over your life? Because you seem sad. I'm not, I'm not scared about anything, all right? Like I said, in two days I'll be done with the whole stress, all right? Then I'll be settled for us to plan our future. Yeah? Okay, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, I think that's Annie. Yeah. Come on, let me go get so much like you. Yeah, me too. I just put him to sleep. Oh, girl. I've missed you guys. I have missed you too. Oh. Anyway, um, is Benita around? Um, I don't know, maybe. We barely see her talk. Oh, wow. So, how is Elijah? Mm, very busy this period, I must say. Hmm. Madam, you look well. No, seriously, you do. I Honestly. feel well. Oh. Okay. Um, I think Elijah wants us to start a family. Wait, hold on. He wants to propose to you. Yes. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so happy for you. Wait, wait, wait. Did he say anything? Well, he said he would like us to discuss our future. Oh my God, Victoria, this is so amazing. Things are happening so fast. I know, I'm so excited. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. This one is woken up I beg, wait, let me go and see my guy. I'm going to see my baby. <laughs> Hi, um, Elijah, I'm going to bed now. Do you want anything? No, I'm, I'm good. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm sorry I didn't um, check on you when I got back. No, oh, no, it's fine. Oh. Are you still using the ice pack on your leg? Oh, yeah. Okay. Annie, how, how is he? He's okay. He's asleep now. And by the way, Ava came to see him earlier on. Ava. She's a good friend. She is. She is. And she loves Annie so much. Yeah, of course. That's the reason she's his godmother. Of course. There's nobody more suitable. Yeah, true. Do you want me to stay? Oh, uh, as a matter of fact, we need to talk. Sit. I want you to tell me what's been happening with you in the last two years. In one word, I would say lonely. Because you became a little bit uptight before I got pregnant. And then we had that conversation where I said I wanted us to take a break. And you just said okay. You really killed me. Yeah. I shouldn't have said okay just like that. I was hurt. 
I just felt like you were waiting for me to initiate the break. Truth is, I was going through stuff. I was going through a very rough patch at that time in my life. And you're not saying anything to me? Well, I keep these things to myself for some reason. But I'll tell you later, when the time is right. I was so hurt, Elijah. I had just discovered I was pregnant a whole two months and I didn't know. And for a month, I was looking for a way to talk to you about it. And then finally, we sat down to have that conversation. And you were just acting so disconnected. I just realized that it was time for us to take a break. And then you just said, okay. At that point, I just never wanted to see you again. I wanted to leave and not see you again. But Ava, after several months, Ava insisted I come and talk to you. And at this time, you were already seven months pregnant. Yeah. I know you sent me money and you called to know how I was doing, but that wasn't what I needed. I was there and felt like I wasn't there. Well, look at us. I mean, we're here now. And you can start to make it up to me. I was so in love with you, Elijah. Like, so in love with you that I could not even allow another man into my life. I was hoping you feel the same. And then being pregnant with your child, it kept the hope alive. Thanks for keeping on me. I'm happy you feel this way about him. Are you okay? Are you happy? Good? I'll be fine. Okay then. I'll let you come to me when you're ready. I mean, we have time. I'll just let you deal with whatever it is you're going through since you will let me in on it. Just let you be now. In no time, I'll tell you everything. Okay then. Good night. Is the tea enough? Yes. Are you okay? Yes. No, I can't. Benita, he's your nephew. And he's your child. I'm not denying that. Neither am I denying that he's my nephew. Eva would have agreed to take care of him in a heartbeat. And she's not even related to us in any way. Well, I am not Eva. 
Whether you need to be take your child along with you, or better still wait for Elijah to return. God knows how long it takes for you to get over this bitterness. And here I am wondering how long it will take for you to get out of my room. Come in. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't look fine. We'll talk tomorrow. And what's happening tomorrow? That's when I can talk. I noticed you've not been going out with your car. Yes. Fine. I'll let you be. Is everything okay? I need to see you in the living room. Excuse us. Thank you. You see, I had to undergo a procedure. Hence the reason I've been using the, the ice packs and the excruciating pain I've been going through for some time now. I couldn't even drive to work. What procedure? Testicular biopsy. What's that? Is a part of a long list of procedures and treatments that I've been undergoing for some time now. Two years ago, just when I thought that I was succeeding with my treatment, I learned from my doctor that I had not made any significant improvement. Wait, 
I don't understand. What are you saying? Two days ago, I had to undergo a non-invasive procedure. And the doctor said that I should come back in 48 hours for the result. And? And he's not my child. Huh? It's obvious that you slept with someone else when we were together. I, I swear I was with nobody. Two years ago, our relationship was facing a hard time. And I realized that my infertility problem was worse than I thought. I was angry. Very angry. I was angry with everything. I did not want any emotional attachment. I didn't even know how to tell you. Baby, see. I swear, I knew you were angry at something. But then I still stayed faithful to you. Even when I gave you space, I didn't even allow anyone come into my life because I was and am still in love with you. Victoria, I can understand if you try to move on. I didn't. At what point do you stop lying? Why are you lying? Look, I was hoping that Annie was my miracle. Until you reached out to me. Oh, you know him. You spoke with Liu? He says, Annie looks just like his sister. See, what I had with him was just brief. He meant nothing. Oh. I swear he's not the father of Annie. Neither am I. Come on, baby. You're the only father Annie deserves and he needs you. Victoria, first thing tomorrow morning, I want you out of my house. I will help him whatever capacity that I can with Annie. I have your account details. But that's the only thing that's going to be between you and I. Baby, please. Annie's asleep now. So what happened? Benita has succeeded in poisoning Elijah's mind towards me. Wait, what? So he sent you out of his house? Yes. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. I'm going to call Benita right Wait, now. Please, please, Ava. Please. Don't call Benita. I have to look for a way to take care of myself and Annie. Elijah is the father of Annie, like, he should take responsibility. To hell with Elijah. I thought it was going to be nice to Annie. Does he even know what it means to have a child? Like, who even gave him the gods to reject Annie? Anyway, a better man will take care of him. But wait, Victoria, wait. What exactly happened? Nothing. Whatever it is that they discussed surely got Elijah to send me out of the house. 
Look, don't worry, okay? You're going to figure out a way to fix things, okay? But I have to go to work, all right? Okay. Mm -hmm, but this does not mean you should cry the whole day, oh. Please. I'll be fine. Okay. Um, Ava, please don't call any one of them. I'll just have to... I just want to do things differently. Of course. I respect your wishes, okay? I'll see you later. Thank you. It's okay. Come in. Should I get you something to eat? I'm fine. You've not had anything to eat since morning. Truly, I'm fine. You see why I was skeptical about Annie when Victoria told you she was pregnant? Look. It's not like my case was hopeless, all right? It's treatable. It could have been mine. I know. Which is why I insisted that you check with your doctor before getting emotionally attached to Annie. Well, all that is in the past now. Elijah, you will have your own child in due time. Don't let the whole scam by Victoria make you lose faith, okay? I need you to understand that you, you deserve so much more. Please, you need to get over this. I'll get you something to eat. Benita, hi. Is Victoria there? No. Why would she be here? I don't know. I can't seem to reach her. Mm, she left this morning. I know. I saw her. She told me everything that happened. And I've chosen not to be involved in it. Well, I'm doing the same. Trying not to get involved. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Yeah, sorry I couldn't I couldn't talk the other time you were calling. Yeah. So this is it. You you might have to look for her and find out the truth about Annie. I know. And I am fine. That chapter of my life is closed. His name is Annie and he doesn't belong to me. All right. Good luck. What do you mean by that? I mean a 
exactly what I just said. What? Hello, Eva. Hi, Elijah. Look, I can't find Victoria anywhere. I don't think she's taking this breakup with you well. And why would you say that? Look, she loves you very much. And having a child with you is a big deal to her. So I don't know why you will not accept your own child. Look, An Annie is not my child. Annie is your child. Because Victoria said so? Look, Benita. I know that you have this hate for Victoria, and she can be somehow sometimes, but then... But what? She is such a liar and a manipulator. And I really do hope that one day you get to see it. Eva, please. How is Annie? Annie is fine. One of my neighbors is looking after him. Look, I need to hurry back to the office and ask my MD if he can give me some time away from work. Look, I don't know what Victoria told you. But the truth is, I can't exactly father a child right now. I'm actually undergoing some kind of medication and I'm sure I'll be fine. But I'll have you know that Victoria has been seeing some guy named Leo. Wait, are you serious right now? I am. You're telling me that Victoria lied about Annie? She did. Victoria packed all her clothes. What? She left Annie in my room. Eva, I think Victoria just left her child with you. It is very much possible. She knows you love him and using him to get into a relationship didn't work. So she obviously can't cope with the stress of taking care of him. But I've been helping out. Why would she abandon her own child? No, 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 that is not possible. Look, I just hope she's okay. I don't understand this. Look, Elijah, I need to go, okay? I'm so sorry about your health. Hello, how may I help you? Hi, um, my name is Leo. I'm here to see Victoria. Victoria is not at home at the moment. Yeah, I, I noticed. The lady inside asked me to wait for you, so I don't know if we can go inside and talk about Annie. Listen, I cannot have any conversation about Annie until Victoria returns. See, Victoria and I... Had a relationship we... or something, Elijah told me. So, when is she coming back? I don't know. How am I supposed to know when to come back? Do you have a number? I don't. Okay, why don't you give me your number then I can give you a call when she returns? I feel like you're discharging me right now. For now, yes, because there is nothing else I can talk on this matter. You know, I can always come back here. Listen, you don't have to stalk me. That's very uncomfortable. <laughs> Thank you. Do have a good day. You too. Hello? Hi, Elijah. I just, um, I got your number from Benita. This is Ava. That's not a problem. Is everything okay? Yes, but I had a conversation with Leo earlier. Oh, yeah. I might have told him where to find Victoria. 
That was not a good call. I live here all by myself. I don't know if this guy is a dangerous person. And I don't want someone to just barge into my house and take Annie away. Yeah, I didn't think about it that way. Hmm. That was bad judgment on my part. Okay, um, can you kindly reach out to Leo and make sure he doesn't show up at my doorstep until Victoria returns? Sure, sure, I'll, I'll call him. Um, so what are you doing about Victoria? I plan on filing a missing persons report with the police tomorrow morning and I also have to make a report about Annie. But I honestly don't know how to go about that. I guess they're going to show me what to do when I get there. Hmm. Okay, if it gets complicated, please do not hesitate to call me, okay? Okay, will do. Good. All right, let me call you. All right then, okay. Thank you. Good night. Yeah, good night. <laughs> So I called you so that we could talk about Annie, Victoria and... And the lady that lives with Victoria, yeah? It's actually Victoria that lives with her. And she's been missing for two days. What do you mean she's been missing? Well, she left Annie with Ava. And no one has seen her for two days. And what kind of a mother does that? Who does that? Listen, we should be more concerned about her safety, all right? I just hope she's fine. Now, the main reason I called you is this. We have to wait until she returns before we can continue talks about Annie. And you don't have to keep going to the house. Eva is not in the right position to let you into Annie's life. What is the meaning of all this? What kind of you guys don't even know when she'll be coming back and how long I'm going to wait is not helping matters. You know what? I'm just going to get to the hospital and donate my sample and you come with Anne and just go through with all the processes. I just want to get the result from the doctor, that's all. What's all this? Mr. Leo, we have to wait. I... I spoke with Leo. Okay. And he wants a DNA. Listen, that is not going to happen until Victoria returns. And when will that be? How am I supposed to know? Look, let's, let's just allow this DNA test to happen. I've thought about it. I've thought about it for hours. I'm not comfortable with this. This whole thing doesn't feel right. Look at it this way. With this, that will make Leo stop coming to your place. That man doesn't look like one to let things go. I conversed with him and when I told him to stop coming to your place, you needed to see the expression on his face. He didn't look like he was going to stop. Are you saying he will keep coming here? Look, I'll be with you all through the process, but let's allow this DNA test happen. What if Annie is his? Well, at least we know that he's not lying about having an affair with Victoria. If the test result shows that Annie is his, he might decide to want to take Annie away. Oh no, not without Victoria. And if he tries anything funny, then we might have to take it up legally. But I think, I think the DNA test is a good idea. I think it's the best. I'm coming. I'm coming. Bro, welcome. 
Thank you. Oh. How did it go? <sighs> well, we just have to wait for the result. If the child is his, you know he would come for her. And Eva is all by herself in that house. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. Do you think she'll want to come here? I really don't know, honestly. You know how Eva can be. I'll just, I'll try to talk to her. Please do. At least if she agrees to come here, we can watch out for Liu. And then wait on the police until they come up with something on Victoria. Let me try. What are you doing here? I just want us to talk. I thought I told you not to come here until Victoria returns. There is no point of you being scared of me. I am not scared. I just don't want you coming here until I call you. So please leave. Please. Why are you doing this? Just leave, please. What did you just say? Elijah wants you to move in. It's for you and Annie's safety. No, look, he should not feel responsible for our safety because he was the one that gave Leo this address. It's not just that. You know he once thought Annie was his and that feeling is really hard to let go of. He also wants to be sure that you are safe. I can also help look out for Annie while you go to work. Okay, but what about your work? I work remotely. That's the beauty of being in tech. I'll have to think about it. That's fine. But I do believe it's safer. No one knows what Leo is capable of. I'll take my leave now. All right, thank you. Thank you. I'm really happy you made this decision. I don't seem to have a choice. Well, is this the only clothes you got? Anita, we don't plan on staying too long. If you say so. La 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 la. La la la. La la la. Thank you. 
the truth? I don't think anything happened to Victoria. You never speak well of her, Benita. That's the thing. There is nothing good to speak about her. Eva, you don't know Victoria like I do. Your life is work and home. I went to places with her. I hung out with her socially. I know what she's capable of. With you, Victoria has to be the nicest, sweetest girl because you're taking care of basically all her needs. And you're taking care of her child too. Look, Benita, listen. I may not have socially hung out with Victoria, but the thing Victoria is... Victoria will be whatever she needs to be, wherever she's getting what she wants. Okay? You need to understand that. Please, listen. Don't say horrible things about Victoria to him in his presence, so please. So defending her. Well, my brother has long gotten over her and he deserves better. It's just so surprising that you would still defend her. Hello, ladies. Hey, Eva, uh, hey. hope you're settling well. Yes, I am. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Benita. Uh, good morning, Eva. Hi. So, um, please, I'd like to see your brother. Cool. He's in his room. Uh, please, can you tell him that I would like to talk to him? Uh, Dave, his room is the first door by your right. Okay, you can go there. I need to get some eggs. Okay. All right. Benita. <laughs> Sure, bye. All right, bye. Come in. Hi. Hi. Um, good morning. Good morning. The doctor just called and he sees the test results already. Okay. Okay. So are we supposed to call Leo? I'll call him. Okay. Again, the doctor would also like to know what time he should be expecting us. Or I can just go by myself. Mm, I should be free at 2 p.m. So I'll just pick you from your office. Is that okay? Okay, fine, cool. All right, then. Later. Yeah. So, what happens now? We have to wait for Victoria. For how long? Why do you guys keep making the same sentence? Leo, I honored you. You asked to see me, I obliged. And when you even talked about Victoria, I didn't question it. You asked for a DNA test, now you have it. It was about time you honored me too. Let's wait for Victoria. So, why are you getting upset? I asked a simple question. Uh, it's my child we are talking about here. And how about the person that carried the child for nine months? What about her? What? I will not have you stalk Eva again. I will keep in touch. Are you okay? 
Yeah. I'm fine. I know you would have felt better if Annie was yours. I'm fine. Are you okay? Yes, I am. Look. I am happy that you moved in with Annie. And I will not let anything go harm before you. I won't let that guy come close to you. Okay? Thank you. What? Do you think Victoria is... Victoria is not dead. You know Victoria very well. She is very deliberate. You say she picked her clothes when she was leaving. Now, did she pick them to go and sleep with them in the coffee? I'm sure she'll come back. Let's go. Okay. You, okay. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. You? Well, I did. I heard Andy crying at about 4 a.m. Yeah, he normally wakes up around that time to eat and then he takes his second nap right after that. Okay. My goodness, you're actually <laughs> cooking. Yeah, I am. Okay, hmm. I was already thinking of what to cook since Benita had to leave so early. Well, as you can see, I am in charge. So you just go to the dining okay. and wait. <laughs> okay, oh, all right, me. okay. <laughs> Anticipate what hmm. What do you think? Oh my god. This is shockingly delicious. Shocking? Why shocking? Because I did not see you as the kind of guy who would actually get into the kitchen and cook all of this. Yeah. <sighs> In as much as you've been friends with Benita, you hardly came here. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm sure you would have known how powerful I can be in the kitchen. <laughs> this is really nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That reminds me. Okay. Is there a supermarket around here? I would like to get a few stuff for Annie. Yeah. There's one not too far from here. Okay. Just tell me what you want, I'll get it. Oh, no, no. Don't worry. I can, I can do that. It's just a few stuff. That's <laughs> it. Look, we don't know how long you're going to be here for. So we might be needing a little more than a few stuff. <laughs> so just tell me what you want and I'll get it. Okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Let me not um, distract you from your food. <laughs> it's really nice. Really, really nice. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Hi. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, he said you wanted to see me. Yeah. I actually got this for you and Annie. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Elijah, are you, are you not spending so much on us? I'm not complaining. Oh, goodness. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, that reminds me. I was thinking, since Leo has not been calling for the past few weeks and he has not come here as well, maybe it's time for Annie and I to return home. Why? You don't like it here? No, 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 no. no. I, I like it, but... The thing is, you don't let me contribute in anything. <laughs> oh, so you think that taking care of you and Annie is digging deep into my pocket? <sighs> Look, Elijah, it's just that... I spoke with Leo. Yes. I didn't tell you because I know how uncomfortable you get every time I talk about him. You know, about some guy coming to take Annie for good. I know how that makes you feel. So he called yesterday? He calls from time to time, at least three times a week. And he always asks, you know, after Victoria and talks about, says something about you not being in your apartment anymore. So that means he has been going to my place then? Yes, he has. You see? See the look on your face? That's the reason I don't tell you. I know how uncomfortable it makes you feel. But look at this place. You're welcome here. I like the fact that you're here. 
Benita is a huge fan of yours and Annie's. I like the fact that I go to work and come back to meet you and Annie. Please don't go. Please stay. I would like to take you out tomorrow. What? Why, why do you have that look on your face? <laughs> well, because we were talking about something different and then you just switched to going out. I've been meaning to say this, actually. So, do I get an amen to that? Uh, um, okay. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, um, let me just take the thing sure, inside. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you so much. It's nothing. If I left unspoken all Can that you, you mean yeah, to me, would I be lying in your eyes? Say, would you be broken if I said I'm joking by the way that I've fallen for your chance? Baby, believe me, I'm not trying to be mean. <laughs> Just gotta let oh, you know. Yeah, um, I like that. I've been meaning to ask you a question. Okay. Why does it feel like you never really loved Victoria? I mean, I was there throughout her pregnancy and you were never there. I know that you sent her money from time to time and... After Annie was born, you never made yourself available. To be honest, I think it was unfair to date um, Victoria when I did. She was an amazing person. She, it felt like she, she was almost perfect. You know, she, she knew the right things to say. She. She knew me in ways that were so amazing. But I was... I was emotionally unavailable. At some point I thought that she was the joy and peace I wanted, you know? Yeah. Until she became pregnant. Yeah. And then I had to look for ways to bring her back. And not just her, but Annie too. You know you did something for me. What's that? Seeing the way you took care of Annie made me realize that it's possible for one to take care of a child without being biologically related to that child, you know. And that took away pain of so many years. And I wish you were Annie's mother. <laughs> well, I guess he has a second parent that will shadow his life. He's a lucky boy. <laughs> yeah. True. This is really nice though. You like it? Okay. <laughs> Especially the salad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, oh god. Well, what, really about, yeah, but what do you think about some logic? Are you sure? It makes sense this actually. It was a long hey. date. And a fun one too. Mm. <laughs> yes. Hi, what about um, Annie? Just fed him. He's sleeping now. Oh, thank you oh, so okay. much. You're welcome. Can I have something cold to drink, like juice or something? Oh, yes. What? What is it? What? I've not seen you this happy in a long time. Oh, shut up. Wait, now where are you going? Hmm. When are you going to tell her? Tell her what? That you love her. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? You do realize you're blushing so much right now? 
Can you just leave my front right now? <laughs> See my brother. <laughs> hey, what is stopping you from telling her? Look, I want to tell her, all right? But I don't want to think that I'm taking advantage of the fact that she's here. She won't. Why? How do you know that? Because I see the way she stares at you when you're not looking. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, tell me about that. Wait, listen. This is her 11th week in this house. You're really wasting a lot of time. <sighs> Eva's type is rare. And if she loves you, you should count yourself lucky, honestly. You need to hurry up with this thing. You don't know who is looking at her too. Look, I want to tell her, alright? but. You know Eva, she's more like the very loyal type. She might not say yes to me because of Victoria. Victor what? Wait, forget Victoria. Victoria is not an issue here. I mean, we've not heard from her, we've not even seen her. The police have not even seen a dead body yet. So she's not an issue. All you need to do is tell her how you feel. Both of you take care of Annie. And you're good. She's a keeper. If you snooze, you go lose you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll tell her. Uh huh. My job here is done. Who made you a relationship expert? <laughs> Add that to my resume. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do this for you. to me would I be lying in your eyes say would you be broken if I said I'm joking by the way that I've fallen for your child yeah it is it has been Baby, for a while leave me. I'm yeah. not trying to be me just gotta let you know I have a break in the conference room and she told her something very interesting I think I know what you want to say. <laughs> oh, God. Mm -hmm. I, have a, I have a meeting with Bob. Oh. Oh. Why are you meeting with your husband? I'll get to it. Okay. 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 Come in. Victoria! Hey. What happened? I was kidnapped. What? You were kidnapped for three months? Yes! By whom? How am I supposed to? I just said I was kidnapped. Please, please, where's my baby? He, he's sleeping. Okay, I'll just... Oh, baby. Poor baby. Elijah, all of us can't be here. Besides, Victoria is back and can make the necessary decision. Doesn't mean you need to leave immediately. No need at all. Elijah, I thank you and Benita for being so kind to Annie and I. I really... So the story is that Victoria got kidnapped and three months later released without ransom. And there were... There is no sign of any bruise of any kind. Her mind is intact and she looks very much healthy, which means she was... What are you driving at? Victoria, you are a very big liar. You abandoned your child for three months and you are here for whatever reason. This is one of the many reasons I can never trust you. Is that... Okay, sir.
Yes, yeah, so I... I invited Leo here. As I promised. I promised him that as soon as he returned that I would let him know. Victoria. Elijah, what do you think you're doing? Helping you move on. I'll have you know that in your absence, we conducted a DNA test. And we found out that Liu here is Annie's father. And he has decided to assume his responsibility as, as Annie's father. Ava. Elijah, please, just let me go. I don't matter that much. Really? There's something going on, Eva. And you cannot pretend that you do not feel it. I'm in love with you. Are you going to deny that you don't feel the same way? Wow. So she's my replacement. Victoria, nobody is replacing you. Well then, let's go. And Elijah, please, it will mean a lot if you keep to your word. You said you support Annie and I. Really? So that's the reason you came back? Mm -hmm. Apparently you've exhausted the money I gave you, and then you return for more. Is Annie your financial freedom? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm happy to be alive and here for my child. He has a father now. A father who is willing to be a part of his son's life. So you see, he should be your first choice. No! You're the only father that Annie needs. You care, you're thoughtful and... Elijah, I love you. I know I've been holding it back and... Ava! Victoria, you are a very wicked and inconsiderate person. You take love for granted. Look, I've been patient with you, but not stupid. And if anything should happen to Annie, you will not believe how hard I will come after you. And I don't care what game you think you're playing, but you better act like a mother and take care of that child. So we need to talk. They don't want you here. So we need to go. Okay? Yeah, thank you for you should listen to him. I'm sure you're happy. <laughs> Very happy. And thank you, thank you for disappearing. That's the only reason Ava walked into my precious brother's life. <laughs> thank you. This time as my woman. Please. Yes, I'll stay. You will? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if I said I'm joking, by the way that Elijah, I love you too. I know I've been holding it back. Ava! What? You did much, please. <laughs> <laughs> I've fallen for your chance. 
baby, believe me, I'm not trying to be mean. Just gotta let you know I leave myself open because I'm just hoping that you're ready to let your feelings show. And no matter how far you try to run, you just can't avoid it. Cause the love that we share is so strong, it can't be destroyed. Girl, no matter how far you try to run, I swear you just can't avoid it. I gotta say I need you some more